All right, guys, so today I'm gonna show you a bit about adjusting the clutch cable and lever after doing a clutch. So a lot of times I get a call where customer does a clutch and they say, my lever is super soft. Even though they put heavier springs in it, they say that the lever is super soft and doesn't feel right, I can't get it adjusted. So I kind of set this one up to show you what what is going wrong and uh, and what's happening with it. So see down here, everything looks pretty well sorted out how it should be visually. Come up here, lever's got a little bit of free play, but you see I can pull that lever with no pressure at all. So, but it does return back to normal, which seems like it should be right, but there's nothing there. So what is going on with that is this arm here is not clocked properly. And so there's, there's an index mark here that lines up with the case. So those two should line up kind of how it looks right now. But the problem is, is you actually need to apply force to the arm, which you're winding this return spring. That's what you're actually filling in the lever is only this return spring. So um, when you put pressure on this against that return spring, now these don't line up. Basically it's too far. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that. And we got one more thing, let's see. What I'm gonna do here though, is I'm gonna see if I can take off this. Mm, okay, well that's off. I was gonna see if I can remove this spring and kind of show you guys. If you take that spring off, now your clutch lever does not return. There's nothing there. So all you're pulling against is this return spring. So I'm gonna set the camera down. I'm gonna show you how to reset this. So on top of this arm is better okay on top of this arm is a snap ring I'm gonna pull that off there's also a washer that's gonna come off as well so what you want to do is take your cable out of the way And this arm, you want to rotate the shaft that goes inside the clutch cover. You're going to rotate it clockwise just by hand, get, get the slop out of it. And then you're going to drop down this arm. It does have a side that says up on it. You're going to drop it down on that spline to where it lines up with the case. Now, depending on what manufacturer of fibers, there may be a, a little bit of variation, but normally if you're gonna go one side or the other, as far as in front or in back, normally I'll cater toward the side where it's a little bit before, and that's where it's at now. So, zoom in on that. Okay, so once you're at that point, you don't have to worry about this spring right now, because that can easily go back on later. So I'm gonna take your washer, put the washer back on, snap ring back on. Make sure the snap ring's down in the groove. Normally I'll rotate it out of the way so it doesn't catch on your pants or anything. Okay, so now this arm, there's still no spring tension on there. Um, 
because we haven't put the return spring on there. So the only tension there would be is the actual full, full clutch spring uh, pulling the pressure plate away from the fibers. So that's what we want. Come back here. Get that cable in. There is a little lock tab right here that makes sure that this cable doesn't fall out. Um, and then you can readjust your cable to wherever is uh, going to leave you adjustment on the lever up top, but still have enough play. So we'll do a base setting on here. So as you can see, have a little bit of play in this lever. We can take a little bit of that slack out. So we got a little bit of play there. So after that portion is done, take a screwdriver and this, this spring is going to wind clockwise underneath the lever. So going to wind it there, put a screwdriver underneath, pull it through and reset it. Now we have spring tension pulling back on that cable. So coming up top, we can set our free play. That's actually pretty close. And now we actually have a clutch lever that is pulling against something. So I'll go back and fine tune this setup. I'm gonna back this adjuster out a little bit right here. So they have some uh, ability to adjust that. But that's it. That's the most common issue I get with uh, clutch installs and uh, most guys can't or don't figure that out and it doesn't really tell you um, about dealing with this spring or taking the play out of this this shaft that's going down in here so um, it doesn't matter the orientation of this arm when you're installing the clutch because you can fix that orientation simply by pulling this uh, cable arm off and readjusting what spline it is on. So I hope that helps you guys out. If it does, uh, if you've ran into this problem before um, and figured it out or had somebody else help you figure it out, uh, share this video when you see the next guy uh, having that problem. So that's it for today and we'll talk to you soon.